In Google Spreadsheets, you'll notice that when you select a row and try to drag and drop up and down, it goes very fast and it's hard to be precise in doing so. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So let's say that I want to select this row and click and drag it down further in the spreadsheet, just maybe three rows down. If I click and drag this thing three rows down, well, it just jumps really fast. Notice it just, this is the natural way that Google Spreadsheet works and it's quite inconvenient. So the way that they have, you know, Google Spreadsheet has us do it officially is to select the row and click on edit and then move and then row down or row up as you as you like but to move it down you know let's say five rows means i have to keep clicking edit move row down it's not a big deal but i wish there was a keyboard shortcut for it but there doesn't seem to be uh, there's a more efficient way of doing it which is to select the zoom which is right now at 100 if i click on the zoom and i select 50 instead now i can click on this row and move it down several rows without having it jump uh, very quickly. You can only do this up to a certain point because if I move it down here, it starts to go pretty quickly again. So again, it just allows us to move uh, a, certain, a, a few rows um, more uh, efficiently there. Now, I discovered another method today that might be even better, and this works with Zoom 100. So let's say I was trying to move this row. What I would then do is click click on the row, select the row with one hand, and with my other hand, scroll without clicking the scroll bar. And this will allow me to more gradually uh, scroll down uh, the sheet to place where I want to place. It's not perfect sometimes. It sometimes does it one row beneath, but it's still pretty good. Let me show you again. I uh, First, let me explain what I mean. Um, instead of clicking and dragging the scroll bar to go up and down, you know how you can learn how to scroll on your mouse or trackpad without using the scroll bar. You know, on some mouses, there is that button in the middle where you can, you know, roll it up and down to scroll. On a trackpad, you usually, you can set it so that there is, and speaking of mouse, there's my cat. <laughs> um, on a trackpad, for example, on mine, I can set it so that there's two fingers scrolling. And that's what I'm doing here. When I show you, I'm scrolling you know, I'm just I'm clicking here and I'm scrolling up and down without using the uh, scroll bar. Well, I can do the same thing by um, I can use that trick to move this row. I'm going to select this row and I'm going to use one finger on the left hand to keep it pressed down to select the row to get ready for drag, drag and drop. And then I use my other hand, two fingers is how I do it on my trackpad to scroll up and down so that I can be more accurate in where I want to drop it. So. Anyway, try these methods out and let me know if this helps. If you have any other tips for how to use select a row and move it up and down that uh, you wanna share with others who are watching this, go ahead and comment below. I'm sure folks will appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.